My front side flips have never really been the greatest. Uh, some might even say ugly. Um, but I found, I came across a John Hill video where he uh, basically gives me the secret to front side flips. So I'm thinking I can watch that and then have the secret to front side flips. And then be able to do them on stuff and off stuff and over stuff and all that. Um, I'm gonna watch that video and we're gonna see if it helps me with my front side flips. But I'm gonna switch a switch switch uh, areas because I picked the worst possible place to sit down because the sun is right in my eyeballs. Are front side flips hard for you? Do you flip them kind of weird or are they kind of Chad Muska-ish? Well, a direct quote for me is. I'm never going to do front side flips, and I'm okay with that. But one day, I'm out of breath, I realized that I wasn't okay with that. So I asked a lot of friends, and I got a lot of tips, and I figured out how to do a front side flip somewhat properly, and uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what they told me, and what I figured out through the process. We all saw a Reynolds trick tip a long time ago where he said put your back foot in the left pocket if you're regular, the right pocket if you're goofy, and then push the board this way instead of popping down. You like, you kind of try to scoop it to the right, and it makes the board go this way, and then it's like the perfect way to get a front flip not to rock it. When you're about to pop, you open your shoulders, and what that means is you face square in front of you. So when you go to do a front side flip, you bend down, and then as you're going up, you turn your shoulders straight, and by the time you pop, your shoulders are straight. So you're pretty much just doing a solid kick flip, and if you can kick flip well, this will make sense. Just do a, a solid kick flip, and since your shoulders are open, your board's gonna turn front side because everything follows the shoulders. So you can kind of flick anywhere on the board as long as your back foot is doing the right thing. But for me, I don't flick directly off the nose, I flick right below it. It's going to be this little pocket area right here. That's mainly where I flick. So my, my back foot is so focused on scooping the board, that it makes it so much easier for me, but that's what I'm focusing on. My front foot isn't much of a focus, but I make sure that I kick out. But the way my back foot is positioned, I can kick as hard as I possibly can and the board flips the exact same way. So you kind of have to figure out for yourself where you like to flick kick flips more or where you like to flick more. But for me, below the nose. An easier way for me to guide the trick is to have in mind pivoting it if it comes up short. So if I aim to flick and then have my left foot get on the board before my right foot, so you want your front foot to hit first, just in case you come up short, you can pivot it or slide it just a little bit. Uh, I usually do the whole rotation on flat or down something. Uh, it's, it's, to me, it's a little harder to actually pivot it. But if you keep that in mind, it helps the trick also. Because you're more focused on having a more tweaked kick flip, tweaked front side flip, when you're focused on the front hitting down first. And that's it. That's how I do front side flips at least. And so you put a lot of emphasis on shoulders and then keeping your foot in the pocket and pushing out to the side. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself an hour. And if I don't land a perfect one, then I'm gonna sue John Hill for not giving me the right stuff. John that looks like a good angle. I got enough to uh, say that I got a decent one. Um, I think I'm going to try and get it off of the uh, little curb thing over there um, just to have it down something. Because doing it down stuff is one of the harder things for me. So we'll see if I can get it.
didn't know you was coming. It's the next day now, my camera died, and then I got one clip with my phone, and it was the best one in my opinion. Uh, I definitely noticed differences in my frontside flips after paying attention to John Hill's video and uh, implementing all the things he said, and trying it, you know, a little different. One thing that I would say also to add to it is to make sure you're standing straight up when you're doing it. So like, don't lean in a direction when you do the frontside flip, you just, uh, you just turn, you know, like that, not like that, you know. You know what I mean. If you've been trying frontside flips, you know what I'm talking about. It definitely helped a lot, and I'm going to, I'm actually at the skate park again. And I'm just going to try more of them, but this is going to be the end of the video, and I'm going to see if uh, I can get better ones, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you wanted to see the video that I watched fully, go to John Hill's channel. Um, I'll probably put it in the description, but also you could look up John Hill frontside flip and then that'll be like the top one So anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video uh, Leave a like down below and comment the button